Hey everybody, what's up? I thought I'd take this time as best I can to talk about the money in the bank situation. Um, of course, we all know, if you read numer numerous sources, um, Cena wasn't supposed to win the Raw WWE Championship Money in the Bank. It was supposed to be Jericho. Uh, but still, it was going to be the same result as we saw last week on the 1, 000, on Raw 1000. And that was uh, being unsuccessful in cashing in, in other words, going bankrupt. Now, I look at, right now, the only person remaining with the briefcase is Ziggler, which I guess from a traditional standpoint would make the World Heavyweight Championship seem a little bit more important seeing as though Ziggler's waiting. <laughs> but it makes you think, for example, for, for a moment makes you think. You've had 10 to 11, uh, basically 10, around 10 or 11 superstars cash in successfully. Do you think WWE wants to keep it at a certain number? Think about it. It's kind of like, it's kind of like, I know, I know it's crazy to compare it to. It's kind of like the Undertaker streak though. You know, all these years they've had all these up-and-coming wrestlers and sometimes those that they, and sometimes wrestlers, superstars that many feel don't need to be in the ring with The Undertaker, but they are. <laughs> yet, and yet have all this opportunity to say, hey, we're the ones that are going to finally break the streak and should be given that opportunity. It, the way some people look at it, like, yeah, this person should be given that opportunity. But, you know, that is yet to happen because Undertaker's 20-0, which is a great thing. But now the question is, is WWE playing something similar with Money in the Bank? Do they want to keep it at a certain number, number of cash-ins, successful cash-ins, and then maybe for a few years have some unsuccessful ones? I'm just saying. I mean, right now, the way the Money in the Bank thing goes, it's basically a 10-1 or 11-1 record. In other words, you have 10 to 11 successful cash-ins and one unsuccessful one as of last week. So the question is, will they do the same thing with Dolph Ziggler? A lot of people feel they won't. Oh, because they feel Ziggler has, got, has earned the opportunity to finally be champion. But let's not forget this. Ziggler has always, cash, has always had opportunities. He was world champion. Can he do it again? We don't know. See, basically, the way I've looked at money in the bank, if you will, is for those with a few occasions, with a few occasions, but a majority of the winners have always been first timers. It's true, they've always been first timers. <laughs> Only two people you've had that have cashed in money in the bank, you know, you know, two years in a row or something like that. Well, two years, but twice. We've already cashed in money in the bank twice. And that, of course, that, of course, being CM Punk and Edge, those are the only ones that have ever cashed in money in the bank successfully twice. But the point I'm trying to get at the point I'm trying to get at is what the point I'm trying to get at is Dolph has already been world champion. Yeah, it was only for about 10 minutes or at least for one night, if you will, he was world champion. Or as some people say, for one week he was world champion. But wasn't officially awarded the title until the night he lost it. So the question is, will he successfully cash in, or will WWE do the same thing with Cena, and that's have him be unsuccessful? I would say it's up in the air, but I've got this feeling that this might be the year where they kind of start doing a trend where you have unsuccessful cash-ins. Or they could balance it out where you have like one not cash-in, one cash-in, the other does. In other words, one unsuccessful, one successful. Like, Say this year you had Cena, you know, you had Cena fail, but you can have Ziggler win. 
And then next year you can have whoever wins the WWE Championship Raw Money in the Bank succeed and whoever wins the World Title SmackDown Money in the Bank lose. You, you all fail. You get what I'm saying. But still, do you think that they want to keep it at 10 to 11 straight cash-ins and do you think this year, 2012, is the year of the bankruptcy? Of money in the bank, of the bankrupt of money in the bank, or MITB? Will Ziggler be the second one this year? Will be two in a row? Will be two in the same year within the year span? I don't know. You know, I would like to see Ziggler get it to at least have a decent run. But if you've noticed in some of the news sources, they they haven't said Ziggler's going to win the world title. So what that tells me, whether they haven't really reported it or not, I, I, I don't think Ziggler's going to do it this year. I think, honestly, in my opinion, I'm hoping I'm wrong. I'm hoping I get swerved on this. But I think this year is going to be the year of the bankruptcy of the Money in the Bank runners. I mean, think about it. You had Cena unsuccessful. Who's to say Ziggler won't be? I'm just saying. So, but give me your thoughts. What do you think? Do you think this will be the year, the first year that both Money in the Bank winners go bankrupt? Or do you think at least Ziggler will succeed in winning where Cena did not? Do you think, honestly, WWE wants to keep it at a certain number of successful cash-ins, like 10 to 11 cash-ins in a row, and then for a while maybe or every, for like say this year and maybe every other year have some unsuccessful ones. Tell me what you think. Comment down below. Give me your answers, video responses. I ask you British Fist. I ask you Wrestling Community, WWE Chat. I ask you Wrestling Gurus, Off the Rope Show, Dads on Wrestling. I ask you all, give me your opinions, your video responses. Mr. Parkin, anybody, your video responses. Tell me what you think about this situation. Do you think they're going to keep it at a certain amount of wins and then maybe every and then for the next few years or every other year have unsuccessful cash-ins? Tell me what you think. Do you think this year will be the start of unsuccessful and then maybe two years from now another unsuccessful or what? Give me your thoughts down below. Video response to you if you like because honestly if they're going to do this with Ziggler they're going to have him win. We haven't heard anything yet. So, let me know down below, comment if you like, video response, I would really like that, and I'll talk to you all later.